M0FXB, just thought I'd show you this D99 budget DMR radio VHF UHF and these are only about £60 delivered. Now I've managed to download the programming software. What I can't get to run and connect is the USB driver. It does program via a micro USB and it only has a single connector for the speaker microphone. So it's a nice looking device, you know, the screen is nice and when you go to, when you're receiving, it goes green and when you're TXing, it goes red. That, that's showing that the talk groups at the moment, we're on talk group one. Now, I did write myself a code plug, but I just can't get it into the radio at the moment. But I just thought I'd just show you, show you around the menu. So we'll go green for menu, start at the top. Now we're in DMR mode, so it's showing the contact details. So enter, number one is contact. There's a couple of contacts already in there. I've been able to change them, but it won't let me actually select one that I can listen to on the radio. It lets me select one, enter. That's, I've created 91, I know it's named Chinese. And then we've got quick key. And back, we can delete. Just deleted something. Back with the red button. I've done manual dial, and as far as I can see, if I type manual dial, as far as I can see, that's probably a private, but when I key, we enter it, and then key, it stays on contact one, which is what we're on, DMR contact one, and that's by default. To go A and B, you press the star, like so. Now, if I get it into analog mode, we can we I can hear my All Star node no problem at all. And there's some programmable buttons here, and it also has two PTTs here, one for A, one for subband. Programmable buttons, which I'm sure you can change. But at the moment, if I hold monitor on, okay, let's turn it down. And that's now brought in my idea at my talk group 91. So there you are. So that's that's how you get it to actually hear DMR by holding down the monitor. Of course, there's no CSV file in here at the moment. I don't even know if I can put one in. Well, that's handy because that means I effectively can program it by hand. So let's just push alert contact. Turn it on and off for now. So that's interesting that it did that. That basically alert monitor enabled the DMR side of it. Let's keep going. Let's go menu. Go down. We've got messages. Inbox. New message. Outbox and draft. Quick text. Call logs. Outgoing. Answered and missed. Now we we'll go to set menu. Now I found to, if you want to program this from scratch, you go down to radio CFG, enter. And then you, if you've already, you can just type the frequency with the keypad first, so you don't have to go into these RX, TX. But if we enter one, look, that's the frequency that we've got. Add a zort, a naught, <laughs> enter. Channel name, we can name it. Now when I go into channel name, I found it was uh, a bit like this, so you key it and then it comes up with a W and it, like, put it there in Chinese. So I just said to myself, well, it'd be easier if I got the code plug working. So let's back out. Color code, that's nice and straightforward. Let's just enter again. You can just select, I've selected color code one, back. Slot, green, that's two, I've select, I'll select two. Keep going, shift frequency, we don't need it, but we'll look at it. There's the shift there. Go back, actually we'll enter it. Shift direction, frequency step. I, I like it when they, sh when they have 2.5. 
So we'll enter that. And it is an analog and DMR radio, VHF, UHF. Channel type, FM, DMR. And if I select FM, and I type in the frequency, and it's picking up my DMR now. We'll type in the frequency of my node in a minute. Let's go. So you get it slot, shift. We've got everything in there. It's just back out with the red button. Now we'll type in my all-star node. See the way it's green because it's receiving? So we'll go four, three, four, five, five, zero, zero, zero. Okay. And with a bit of luck, my node will come to life. We need to get in our tone now. I haven't done this yet. Let's go menu. Go to set. Let's go to radio set enter. CTCSS. We only need it on transmit. So we go down to transmit. Enter. You can hear the note, but I want to be able to access it. And we go on or off. And then as soon as we go up, it went on. Oh, hit that again. 77 we need and we'll go enter so in theory I should be able to open that up now let me just check M0 FXB test yeah that works so let's just see if I can uh, have a contact so we've got to lean over at this and like I said we've got M0 FXB are you coming through to open it um, no problem it's a little, a little bit quiet um, and a little bit fuzzy it might be it might be putting in that 10 shift that we saw let's just see when we key Mike zero Fox x-ray Bravo yeah thanks for that I'm just testing out this new DMR radio which is called a d99 you wouldn't have heard of it I don't think I've ever seen one in the UK but it's Andreas Western Superman Mike zero Fox x-ray Bravo so you can see it goes red, and then on receive it goes green. It sounds fine. There's no problem with the, the sound on the audio. Yeah, I hear, hear you on here a lot, uh, Andreas, but uh, I, I don't think I've ever spoken to you. Uh, yeah, that's very interesting. You said a DMR, but uh, is it? are you getting into open it via analog? Because uh, <laughs> uh, I'm a bit confused now, because it, it sounds like analog. Um, so is it a, a, a radio that will work on both, or...? Are you getting in some way that it's, you're actually transmitting on DMR, but uh, um, if you see what I mean. Sorry, I'm confusing myself now with what I'm saying. <laughs> Two whiskey, well, DIY. Yeah, we're going to have to get on the phone to Mike. Two whiskey, one, BRI. Or was it BRY? <laughs> No, it is analog going in through my node. I was sat here just teaching myself to manually program a DMR channel, and then I thought I'd show the analog side and caught, quickly test, caught a test. So um, I am analog now. It will do DMR, and, and I've taught myself that it will. Act, you can program it just using the radio. You don't have to use a code plug. My problem is I've got the programming software, the, the, but the USB driver just will not accept the this radio at the moment i've already emailed aliexpress china whoever the company is and they'll they'll sort that one out they're very good actually but you're sounding really good nice and clear and you'll see this radio on my most recent uh, videos the d99 uhf vhf dmr radio back to you so okay we'll end it there and then uh, we'll do some more later